Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of physics, super important questions and uh, in this video we have 5 most repeated questions and uh, make sure you watch it till the end and before starting please do like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos like this. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is, derive an expression for energy density in terms of Einstein's coefficient in laser action, okay. So the question uh, can be asked directly for deriving an expression, okay. They can ask you directly for uh, deriving an expression in terms of the Einstein coefficient for energy density. Also, the question can come where they will be expecting you to write the three different types of uh, means the emission and absorption okay there are three different types of uh, emission and absorption which is induced absorption spontaneous emission and stimulated emissions okay the radiation three types of radiation are there so both of the questions will be discussing in this one only okay so first what you need to write here is that there are two energy levels okay this is uh, energy level one and this is energy level two okay two energy levels are there and there are atoms in both energy levels okay so what happens is when a photon comes okay this is a photon when a photon comes the energy uh, means the uh, electron from the uh, lower energy level will get excited to the higher energy level using the energy of photon okay i'll repeat the energy of photon will be consumed by the electron and electron will be moving to the higher state okay that is what is called as induced absorption okay and the formula you need to write here is a plus h nu is equal to a star a is the atom which is not excited uh, previously h nu is the energy associated with the photon which is coming and a star is nothing but the excited uh, energy okay so this is called as induced induced absorption okay and uh, the formula here is r i a is equal to b12 n1 into p v okay which is b1 is the einstein co probability coefficient for induced absorption this value will be used when we are uh, deriving the equation okay in terms of energy density n1 is the population at uh, how many electrons are there in the level 1 and n2 is how many are there in uh, level 2 okay like that next is spontaneous emission spontaneous emission means first uh, electron comes from the top okay electron comes from the top to the bottom okay it comes from the top to the bottom and since it has come from higher energy level to lower energy level some energy is lost that will be converted to a photon okay that will be converted to what that will be converted to a photon that is what is called as spontaneous emission okay from higher to lower and this is the formula you write first is it is an excited state a star it will become a plus h nu h nu is the energy associated with that uh, transition and it will be in the form of photon okay and uh, 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 value you will be writing here the, the equation which is associated with spontaneous emission is rsp is equal to spontaneous emission a21 n2 okay the third one is stimulated emission in stimulated emission both the things happen okay in stimulated emission both the things happen it is an excited state and a photon is also coming it comes from the excited state to the lower state so one photon gets released and the previous photon is continuing its journey okay so it will be a plus 2 h nu and the formula will be rst is equal to b21 n2 into pv okay so this is the uh, stimulated emission now uh, the uh, rate of upward transition is equal to the rate of downward transition okay the upward transition is nothing but the induced absorption that is equal to rate of downward transition which is spontaneous uh, emission versus uh, plus stimulated emission okay both the stimulated will be here at this is the uh, induced one okay next we will be substituting those equation which i told you you will be substituting it here we will be uh, taking this term here in the left hand side so that will get new uh, pv as common and uh, we will be putting this down and then we will be taking b21 and n2 as common so we will be dividing it with b21 and n2 here and uh, this will become one and uh, from this uh, what the observation can be made is here uh, the <coughs> The population inversion uh, of level E2 with respect to E1, N2 by E1 is equal to E power minus E2 minus E1 by KT. Okay, that is equal to E power minus H nu by KT. Okay, this is the value which we have got. Now we will be substituting this value wherever we find N1 by N2. Okay, so N1 by N2 will be substituted with this in this equation and we will be getting this uh, uh, particular equation here. Okay, after that we will be uh, just doing some further simplifications. This is the constant value, the constant value of A21 by uh, B21 this is the value so we'll be remaining with this one okay so this is the final answer which we'll be getting okay for the uh, 
equation for Einstein's coefficients. Okay, and finally we have to also write a21 uh, by b21 is equal to this and b12 by b21 is equal to 1. So since b12 by b21 is equal to 1, that means b12 and b21 are equal. So we can consider them as b only. Okay, and a will consider as a only. So uh, at last we will be writing this equation. Okay, this is the expression for energy density in terms of Einstein coefficient. Okay. So based on the question, you either have to write about the uh, types of emission or you just have to derive it. Okay. Moving on to the second super important question, we have uh, discussed point to point fiber optic communication. Okay. This is a very interesting question. What happens? See, uh, you get a call. Okay. You get a call and you are talking. Okay. Let's consider the diagram only. If you understand the diagram, the theory part you can write. Okay. You can go through this theory part and this diagram I'll explain. Okay. Now what happens? You got a call from your friend and you're talking to your friend. Your voice is in uh, the normal sound waves. Okay. That is converted to analog signals. Okay. It will be converted to analog signals and analog signals signals will be converted to digital signals okay so three things happen sound is converted to analog signals analog signal is converted to digital signal and this digital signal is transmitted via the uh, pipes okay the optical fibers it will be transmitted in the form of light okay digital uh, data can be transmitted in the form of light because digital data can be represented as binary okay binary if light is on means it is one light is off means it is zero so uh, combinations of one and zero light on off that uh, sequence will be sent and it will be captured in the photodiode photodiode will convert uh, the electrical signals which is the light form into binary form from the binary form we can generate the analog signals from the analog signals the sound waves will be generated at the receiver end okay so this is how the fiber optic communication happens okay this is how the point to point fiber optic communication happens this is all thing you have to explain and make this diagram Moving on to the third super important topic, we have uh, defined acceptance angle, numerical aperture and hence derive an expression for Na in terms of uh, refractive index, core, cladding and surroundings. Okay. So first question, what is the uh, <coughs> definition of acceptance angle? It is the maximum limit for the angle of incidence such that our ray can be refracted. Okay. So if you observe, this is the uh, place where the refraction happens. So when our light comes here, refraction happens like this, right? So what is the maximum angle we can reach here? Okay. How much we can increase so that still reflection will happen? It is obvious that after some point of time, it will just pass it pass through here so what is the maximum angle we can get here that will still have refraction that is called as acceptance angle numerical aperture is nothing but it's the ability to gather incident light this is the numerical aperture how much big the uh, uh, insertion of this uh, light uh, area is okay that is called as numerical aperture okay so uh, we have to derive the equation so we will be making this diagram okay this is a very simple diagram here a light ray is coming okay and it is getting refracted from here so another angle will be there theta when it is getting refracted then it is going like this okay this pipe you have to make it like this and the point of uh, important points here is the o here where the first refraction happens second where the second refraction happens is b okay and this is theta 1 theta c and this is theta a okay now you have to just write the equations also the n naught this is the refractive index of air this is the refractive index of core which is n1 and for cladding it is n2 okay these three things you have to write now after this you will be writing the following equations using snell's law okay so snell's law states that we will be uh, doing n naught sin naught a is equal to n1 sin 1 theta this is the first one where at o it is refracting okay so from here we will find out the sin theta a okay and for refraction it be snell's law becomes n1 sin theta c and n2 sin uh, 90 these two things you need to remember first is this second is this by using these two we will be deriving the sin theta 1 value and the sin theta a value will become this one and this is null need but this is nothing but the numerical aperture value okay and if it is with respect to air then it will be this because the air's value will be one and not will be one okay so that's all you have to derive and rest all is the extra information for your understanding you can go through it okay Next uh, super important question is discuss three different types of optical fibers based on mode of propagation and RI profile. Okay, we have to different. Uh, there are three types of uh, modes of propagation. Okay, and uh, RI profile is uh, refractive index profile. Okay. So here uh, there are three types of uh, modes. Okay, the first one is step single uh, step index single mode. Okay, so what all the things you need to remember here is that. Here you will make a circle and a small circle here okay it is single mode so only one ray will be transferred at a time okay and the key points which you need to write is it is having a diameter of 8 to 10 nanometer 
and 6 to 70 uh, micrometer diameter okay diameter is this and the diameter of the core this is one diameter and this is one diameter okay those two are different and it supports a transmission of v number less than 2.4 okay and uh, na is small here it since the diameter is small here okay and uh, another thing which you need to write is it almost 80 percent of the uh, fibers are manufactured, manufactured manufactured by smf and because of low na the laser light source is used in the long distance okay so only one uh, ray gets passed okay that is a single step index single mode fiber same thing if you do with multiple fibers by increasing the size of the uh, hole here you what you'll be getting is step index multi mode fiber here multiple nodes will be transferred and the v number also greater than 2.4 and uh, it is used in the led and cctv camera okay that's things you need to write and the last one is graded index in graded index also it will be same only but the refractive index will be gradually changing okay if it is gradually changing means there will be a curve okay light will go like this like a curve it will go okay previously it was going straight like this right but here it will be going like a curve okay that is the only difference between the previous one and this one okay and the last super important question is illustrate the construction and working of semiconductor laser with an each sketch diagram okay laser you have to uh, make the first uh, thing you need to make is this diagram okay very simple diagram you'll just have to make a box like this and this will be p type this will be n type and in between there will be a uh, gap okay and the laser will be coming from this gap only now there will be a power supply from here it will be connected to the circuit after making this diagram first point you need to write gallium arsenide gas is a direct uh, band uh, which is made uh, from that suitable crystal grow, uh, growing technique so it is doped with zinc and tellurium okay gas is doped with zinc and tellurium okay to get p type and n type whatever we have p type and n type gas plus zinc plus tellurium that is the formula here okay and sandwich of p type and n type from uh, forms a diode okay and uh, the construction of diode there is a junction here and after uh, explaining this much points you have to come here and uh, explain it's working so what happens in between the junction right it will be initially like this okay depletion region it will be having a barrier this cannot go here and this cannot go here but when current will be increased okay current increasing means biasing current will be increased so that what happens the holes will come here and the electrons will come here so there will be a transition and there will be current formed from the current the laser will come in between okay that is what is the uh, working of it okay and the for final formula also you can write if you can remember this it will be uh, near the energy gap will be 1.4 electron volt and the wavelength will be 8400 amstrom okay amstrom meter so that's all for the uh, module one of physics and numericals will be uploaded in a separate video and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps me make more just like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one